All right, so we'll try to make this quick. I kind of feel bad about doing this, but at the same time, I haven't seen any real reviews of the Martinez Atlas 46 combo um, padded belt. Certainly haven't seen any head to head with any other company. So I figure hopefully this will help some guys out. Um, unfortunately, this thing is a total flop especially comparing to any of the other higher end brands. So both of these are three point. They're both the same size. They're both smalls. All right, I just got this. I'm gonna be replacing this. Like I said, unfortunately, I really wanted to be into this. Um, at first I was like, man, that is comfy. You know what I mean? Um, kind of like the sleeves on like a really nice Carhartt jacket or something like that. When I was wearing a t-shirt, it was feeling good, you know what I mean? Especially at first. So, ran into a couple issues with this. I started going higher end because I kept getting pinch points on my hips and literally like over the course of about 20, 21 years of working, I have scars on my left side. So I figured, screw it, I'm done with the big box store stuff. And I wanted to go American made. I wanted to spread the love around. Um, so I figured, why not? They had this in red. I like the splash of color. It was working out okay at first, but there are some serious issues that I have with this. Um, so one, this thing is like super floppy. There's really not much back support to this at all. You can see, I mean, like comparatively, and I'm not, I don't have it down here, but unfortunately, this is not even sturdier than my older... Um, what were they like husky bags my husky setup and that thing was like 60 bucks for the whole tool belt This thing price point at a small is 160 all right, and then it goes up five dollars from there any other size So a medium would have been 165 a large would have been 170 and then an extra large would have been 175 that all right that right there you guys should kind of be embarrassed in yourselves just in that Cause let me, give me one sec. Cause some of us, some of us actually buy this material. You know what I mean? So we're talking 20 bucks for 60 by 30 inches of quarter inch foam. All right, closed cell, no big deal, not expensive. $11, 1000D, you know what I mean? 1000D Cordura, $11 a yard. The fact that you guys are making people pay five extra dollars every time they go up in size already should have been a marker for me to just skip past you guys altogether. Like I said, I wanted to spread the love around a little bit and I thought, you know, Atlas 46, good stuff. I was going to start to grab up some of the Martinez pouches. I gotta say, I'm probably gonna be done with you guys from here, from here on out. I do like your hammer sleeve. It's built well, whatever. I'll be keeping that. This thing, unfortunately, is not going to be trash, but I'm certainly not going to be using it every day. So, we'll compare them both. Like I said, both three point, all right? Both are small. This, this thing is just so much more sturdy, man. Like, I hate to say it, you know what I mean? But you don't stack up at all. 160? 130, all right? $30 less, twice as good construction. Um, like I'm pretty pretty strong at squeezing stuff. This thing is sturdy. That is one layer of heavy duty webbing. This is two layers of webbing, plus you got this Velcro. This thing should be sturdy, man. This thing should be real sturdy. That should be like the start of my back support. Another problem that I've been having with this thing is, so for me, I'm a pretty skinny guy, all right? So when I'm cinched all the way down, I'm right to there. Now, as I'm walking around with your keeper the way it is, you see how that keeper just loosened up right there? As I'm walking, this thing is incrementally getting wider and wider and wider and wider. And like no joke, four or five times a day, I got to pull on this thing. I really shouldn't have to do that. Um, you guys should really try to figure something else out. Another thing with it is without any adjustments, you can see this guy's pretty flat. You know, if I stretch that out, it's, um, it's Velcroed in hard, 
underneath here and here, all right? So without any adjustments, nice and flat, right? Which seems okay, but as soon as you start wrapping this around your body, this thing gets bunched up in places, and I'm not talking about just this layer. I'm talking about the whole belt. It gets all crinkled up on you. More so is happening to me in the back. It's gonna be hard to replicate that, you know, on camera. But either way, you can see right there, right on this side. The whole thing is like cinching in on me. It's like getting all crinkly. Makes it very uncomfortable. And then since it's doing that with your edging, it has a tendency to push in, fold over, creating a pinch point. I got a pinch point over here right on my hips. Like I said, I'm trying to avoid that. I'm trying to go high end to avoid this kind of stuff. And then when it's cinched together, when it's clicked together, you got this guy pretty much dead center, which another thing, the webbing here is actually wider than the buckle. So I'm already, I'm like 90 days in on this thing. I'm already getting a lot of wear and tear. This is gonna start ripping on me. You know what I mean? And like, right on. I mean, I'm a carpenter. It's not like I'm gonna baby this thing. I shouldn't have to baby this thing. I spent 160 bucks on this thing. So you got a pinch point here, lot of wear and tear, 90 days in, lot of wear and tear, way too much wear and tear. And then you got this guy really pinching on me. Really, you guys gotta figure something else something else out. You got to. Um, really wanted to be into this. Really did. And then let's go over to the Badger here. So I just picked this up. This is what I'm going to be running from now on. So we went over how, we went over how it's laying flat. Seems good at first. You know what I mean? Stretch this thing out. You see how that came down a little bit? Like I said, I'm actually trying to stretch this thing out. Now, check out how this is going along on your body. That's getting nice and neat right there. You know what I mean? That thing's made to hug your body. Joel, guys over at Badger, if you see this, really happy with this. You guys deserve the good review. You guys don't get enough exposure on YouTube. There's a couple other companies that get way more exposure than you guys, and you guys have a great product here. Nice and hard. This is going to be good back support. Like I said, they're both the, they're both basically the same size, five and a half, five and a half. Which is another thing too. You guys sewed this in on an angle. It's like I spent money for you guys to really hone in and figure this stuff out for me. You know what I mean? Um, another thing, you see the you see the cross stitching here shows up really good on camera here with the yellow side cross stitching that's sewn all the way through so this thing's moving is like one unit this stuff right here you have like the atlas 46 webbing it's only sewn into this layer and then the cross stitching here is only sewn in through this layer and into the pad itself like into the foam uh, possibly going to be kind of hard to do on camera but this thing gets real floppy wearing it each day. You can see like they're not even necessarily one piece except for up here. So it like shifts on me when I'm wearing it. I tried my best. Give me one more sec. I tried my best to do a workaround. I mean, I mess around with Kydex. So I, I put my own little Kydex keepers in here and it's like the same size as the webbing. So it really like cinched these together and it helped a little bit, but still, it's still like folds over really floppy, really floppy construction. Super not happy with this. Um, that's going to be pretty much it. I mean, we'll let the viewer, you know, decide for themselves what they see. Um, but in my opinion, you guys need to figure something out with this. You guys really need to run this one back and try to get us something a little better. Um, there hasn't been, like I said, there hasn't been a review of this that I've been able to see except for somebody just kind of doing a twirl on YouTube. Um, so I wanted to just give this thing, unfortunately, the review that it deserves. I'm sure you guys have good products as far as your pouches, but this belt, no offense, this belt sucks. Really happy with you guys over at Badger. Anybody that subscribes to this channel, anybody that watches my videos from here on out, this is what you're going to see. Um, wish this one worked out, but we'll chalk it up as a learning process. And I'll throw you one out here too. 
if somebody wants this, because I'm not keeping this, get at me in the comments. If you're in the continental US and you want to try this thing out and you're willing to pay for shipping and send me the shipping label, I'll print it out, throw it on a box, and I'll send this to you because this thing is basically going to be trash as far as I'm concerned. Um, I would suggest you get some suspenders because this thing is not going to stay tight on you. As you're walking around, you are not going to be happy with it. And then if anybody wants it, what I did when I was wearing it is I undid some of the Velcro and I moved this in so that it would be a bit more like an actual high-end tool belt and hug my body a little better. Um, so you'll be able to maybe like avoid the like crinkle cut crap that's going on with this thing. A um, lot of pinch points with it. If somebody wants it, like I said, get at me. That's going to be it. Thanks a lot.